Hi guys, it's me, Amy, and Stevie, and tonight we're making a, a turkey breast roast, and it comes in this package with this netting, just so you know, it cost me $9, it was on sale at Food Lion for $9.99, $9, not $900, okay, anyways, in the frozen section, and it comes with some gravy, discard that. We're going to make our own gravy. I may or may not show it. This is what I did first, was I had... Yeah, eh, that's okay. No, that's frosted. Oh, Anyways, guys, um, the dog's at the door. He's outside chained. He's wanting in. I used some of this, which I find really does have a lot of purposes. Um, I used three of the cubes. It comes with um, six cubes or squares per package. They're pretty big size and they come in all sorts of different flavors. So I melted that in here in the microwave and then I added a little bit of pepper, salt, some more garlic powder and just a touch of the um, olive oil to uh, just give it more flavor. So now Stevie of course, say hi. Hi. He's not happy helping me are you? I'm tired. You're tired. Well, uh, I need your help. Okay. So, we mixed all that together, and you said we'll just do, do it this way. Anyways, he's going to inject it with this marinade. And then we'll let it sit for an hour or so in the refrigerator, and then we heat the oven to 350, and then um, yeah, turn it over. And... Oh, and I put... Um, garlic, whole garlic, and onion, that's just to give the pan uh, drippings some extra flavor also, because turkey really doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you have to do a little bit of work on it. Uh, okay, go ahead, he's going to inject. Now pull the syringe upward and out as you're going down. So anyway, so we're just going to continue to inject it, and we'll bring you right back. Okay, we were um, filling up the syringe and we realized it did clog. So this is the way to solve that problem if you're injecting uh, your meat. He's going to untwist the needle from the syringe. I'll put it up there at least. Okay. And then just suck up here. Clean suck up what off. you can't. Huh? Exactly the stove I know off. you cleaned it off. Anyway, so pull it up like that. Then Stevie's going to put the syringe, the needle, back into the syringe and just twist it back. It goes the other way. Nope. No? Sure? Okay. You can do it either way. All right. And now um, we're just going to continue uh, to do that. Sorry, guys. Getting a picture of his leg. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. We're just now finishing our the last uh, thing with the syringe because we've used all the butter and olive oil out of this. This is just the seasoning. Oh, I forgot to mention. I'm sorry. I also put rubber butt in it. Uh, Alanda, I think, was the one. I know that's the one that sent it to me. And thank you so much for that because it serves so many good purposes. So anyways, so there that is. Now what we're going to do with the leftover marinade is rub it um, all over the turkey. Kind of pick it up and use all of it. And this is not only going to flavor the turkey, but like I said, the pan gravy, the pan drippings to make gravy. So, well, that's our cat, if you can hear her. She's, she's... No, that's Roscoe, oh, outside it Roscoe? whining. Well, he can wait a minute. Anyways, turn it over, because the back side, you know, it's sitting in the juice. It still needs, or the water and all it needs, or whatever. You know what I mean. So there we are. So we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator for a little while, then we're going to stick it in the oven, and we will bring you back when we bring that out. Okay. okay, guys, this is the turkey out of the oven. I cooked it for one hour and 30 minutes. At one hour and 15 minutes, I added water to the pan so that I can make a pan gravy, which will be in my next um, video. And I will show you what it looks like cut up in just okay, a minute. Okay, guys, my finished turkey here, turkey breast. Um, this here that you're seeing, this brown, that's the marinade we injected into it. Um, it turned out nice and 
uh, brown on the top of it. That's just the end pieces because I wanted to give uh, the boys, you know, center pieces. So anyways, let's give this a taste. Let me just get a piece there. Next time I know to cut first, huh? Mmm. That's good. Um, the salt and the pepper. It's just perfect. It's perfectly cooked. Looks great. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Live, love, and eat.